everybody, and welcome to another episode of FMW Purgatory. A new arena, new every. Oh, it's Brad. Slow that. Uh, Jeff? Nothing I can do. You know, as I sit here and ponder about things in life, I wonder why we have a champion like Chris Rich. Can't, can't even fight his own battles. battles. Has, has to have private security. security. Okay. Bruno, Bruno and Hulk. You, you guys are fairly new here. here. You're some, some big boys. boys. I'll give you that. You guys, you guys look, look like, like uh, you, you can put a buffet, buffet out of business. Because you're stepping, stepping in the ring with the OP. Now, you, you guys, guys might not be wrestlers. Professional. Wrestlers, you, you guys, guys look like, like you're some thick neck jabronis who were found in a back alley somewhere on a discount penny saver back. But I digress. You guys are stepping into the ring with two of FMW's elite wrestlers in one of the most prestigious groups that has ever graced FMW. EOP. Myself, Triple C. Now, like I said, you guys are some big boys. So, it's going to take some work to put you down, but I'm pretty sure we'll put a couple of buckets of slop out there. You guys might just be so distracted. We might get that easy one, two, three. Then again, Chris Ridge doesn't hire just anybody. As much as I don't like the man, he's pretty business savvy. He did not become as rich as he is just by being a jackass. For Hulk, Bruno, as I sit out here pondering life, I know this. You guys are big, but we're bigger. You guys are tough. We're tougher. Good, Good luck, luck to you, you because you're going to need it. Well, Jeff, it looks like Chris Michael said everything he had to say before this match. It looks like we're getting this one started. One's really got a question. Where are the skills of, uh, what is it, Hulk and Bruno? Bruno and I think his real name's Garrett Rich. He calls him Hulk and I'm pretty sure he paid F and W a lot of money to call him Hulk. But his real name's Garrett. Last name Bishop. I, I have no idea what his last name is. That's guy. More with this fish off, I understand the whole gas situation. Yeah, Garrett and Bruno. And then taking on, of course, two members of the EOP uh, group that has come very known here in uh, FMW, and here they are. That Garrett is a big boy, Jeff. That's it to say there's no Bischoff. And then you look over at Bruno, who just a little bit smaller than uh, Garrett, Hulk Garrett. Um, what his name is. I wonder what he looks like under them suits and jackets, if they're really as built as they look. No one rich, he could buy body suits. There's Triple C starting this off against, oh, there is Garrett. 
Oh, Triple C went after the ref. Come on, man. I can pay him five grand for that shit. Oh, and Hulk took advantage. Look at the big man get up. Oh, twice, but he missed the second one. And uh, Triple C in the wrong corner right now. It looks like uh, Hulk might have got that. Oh, look we'll at Triple C with the reversal. Went for a standing sheer annoy, and the big man should have known to go for power. Triple C countered that right into a power slam. You know, we can fairly say that Triple C is a big boy, but he's not built like this, this Garrett, this Hulk. Oh, but look at that. But he's, no, tagging, he's got the wrestling skill. tagging in someone who is, and that's the demigod Chris Michaels who has put on some massive weight. Look at him stop Hulk right in his tracks and look at them right hands. Is he going to do it? Ah, drops him right across the rope. Could have thrown him outside the ring. The demigod Chris Michaels who has looked probably the best he's looked in his whole career. Or at least here in FMW. Now to the top rope, and Garrett's in a bad way. Bruno's coming over. What's Bruno looking to do? The referee's looking right at him. Oh, Bruno! Put his hands on the demigod. But it did not buy Bruno enough time. Or did it? By Hulk enough time. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Right outside the ring. That's safe to say it's the first time Michaels has ever been thrown over the top rope like that. Oh, and he went for a big boot, but totally missed, and the demigod's going to make him pay for it with that right there. With a big FU to Bruno, and now look at Triple C. God. And Triple C throwing Bruno with a nice belly to back suplex. And Bruno from behind now as Triple C. Triple C has been playing to the crowd a lot here in this match, which they don't really like him, so I don't I don't really understand what he's doing, but oh Bruno. Oh just blocked right there by Triple C. And now Triple C has Bruno up and down. Dropped him like a bad habit, Lee. You know, Bruno is, uh, looks like a guy you'd kind of find in the Mafia. Like, you know, good old Uncle Tony. Oh! Well, Uncle Tony just got dropped with an elbow to his head. Or in this case, I guess Uncle Bruno and Oh, into the corner. Oh, reversal by Bruno. He knows he's in a bad way. He needs to fight his way out, and he does. Triple C thrown over into their corner, and oh, Bruno now has Triple C right where he wants him, Jeff. Or does he? With that headbutt, Triple C retakes control of the match. And wisely getting off the top rope before Hulk could get in the way. Exploder suplex across the ring. Triple C's building up momentum. Tags in his partner. The demigod Chris Michaels, you know he's not happy. Oh! 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 How do you think he feels right now? I'd say to, it'd be pretty safe to say he's pissed. Bruno. That's not what he had to do. Hold that out of nowhere, Jeff. I, I, I didn't even have time to react, and now Hulk is. Oh! Right now, the two big men are going at it, and Chris Michaels was dazed. And so Hulk right now is kind of having his way with the demigod. We have not seen this before, ever. But it, it, it didn't last. Looked like Hulk started to get a little too cocky there, Jeff, and uh, Chris Michaels is now fighting back. 
Oh, take it out the leg. Jesus, Jeff. The size of that Uranagi. Oh, caught there. These two going back and forth. I mean, I've never seen such a close matchup with Chris Michaels before it ever. I've never seen someone reverse the demigod punch either. Straight from Olympus that punch comes from, I hear. Oh, up to the middle, row it, oh God! Work the bicep, work the tricep, and then drop him on his fucking head. Triple C definitely knows what he needs to do. Looks like Hulk is trying to make his way to Bruno. Is Triple C gonna let it happen? He does. Oh! That big Make a boot. good use for it right foot tonight. Yeah, I was just about to say, Jeff, good call. Uh, oh, he does it again! Looks kind of, oh, missed! I am definitely liking this new arena, Jeff. Got a little bit more space at ringside now. Still kept the announce table away from ringside. I, you know how I prefer that, Jeff. Again, for some reason, you don't want to look right on at the action. You like looking through the monitor. Hey, we get plenty enough action sitting right here. Oh, God, Triple C. And Hulk has been out for a minute, or Garrett, sorry. I I mean, it says in our stuff to call him Hulk, but I know the guy's name. I, I just don't know what to do, Jeff. It's simple, you spite rich. That's what I do. Oh, God, the leg. A uh, Bruno seems hurt. Yeah, if anyone missed it, he jumped off the top rope and missed Triple C and landed on his legs wrong. And I think now EOP is starting to take advantage of that. By the throat. Besides that three on three in which EOP lost. I know you don't like hearing that, Jeff, but. Oh, look at there, look at there. One, two, three. Triple C got in, but Hulk did not move. I, I don't, you know, these guys weren't wrestlers before they came here. I don't, I don't even think he knew what he was supposed to do. Are you with us or against us? Are you with us? We smoke on this power of money longer. Yeah, bitches better. Yeah, we smoke us better. Yeah, we do this shit. But for minute, for minute, for minute. You know, Rich is not going to be happy with the uh, Hulk there. No, he's not. Look at these replays. We're looking fresh. But do you really expect to just walk in there from WWE and be the tag team champions? These aren't the Alphas. I mean, in the sense of the Alphas, but you could say these are the Alphas of FMW currently holding the tag team titles, but, you know, they, EOP will not like that I just called them anything related to Alphas because of the Alphas. You know, you have to know FMW history to understand that. Anyway, moving forward... Oh, Did you hear come. that music? The following yeah. contest is scheduled for I am loving this arena. Making his way to the ring from London, England. Playing in Even Braxton's looking cool in this arena. And Braxton has been very, uh, very keen to note that he is eager to await what the future is for him and FMW. Very much so, Jeff. You know, live here in the Kabuki Theater, a place that means so much to everyone here in Tokyo, Japan. And they're letting FMW be here on a weekly basis, thanks to the man sitting next to me. 
Jeff, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. Braxton's probably honored to be here. I know several superstars in the back who are honored. I mean, this is just an honor. Many FMW superstars have had matches in this building for other promotions. Now they get to do it regularly with FMW. And here is a man that everyone thinks is a rising star here in FMW. Uh, I have my doubts, but I know some men who do not. from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 292 pounds. You're looking at one of them. Leroy Diamond, who is came so close to being the first, or sorry, yeah, be, no, winning the tournament for the full honor title, not the first, but anyway. So winning the tournament for the full honor title, he had that opportunity, and he came up short to, I think, two men that he was not expecting to come up short to. Such as the fallout of the triple threat match. JMR definitely played smart in that match, which got JMR to where he is now, which is currently the full honor champion. And got that beautiful, I, I don't even know what to call it, just everything, the arc, architecture. Just everything in here in the theater is amazing. And now the bell is rung, Jeff. And Braxton is going right at Leroy. And look at them kicks. It would be safe to say that Leroy Diamond is uh, cementing himself with a, if he wins here tonight, with a dominant reason for why I should challenge for the full honor championship. I definitely agree with you, Jeff, because, oh. Spear he, into the corner. Yeah. This man has been on a dominant run, and although he came up short in the triple threat elimination, he has shown in other places why he is something to be reckoned with because, I mean, let's just go ahead and look at his matches with Larry Bad uh, at Battleground 2. Him and Larry Bad fought in what was one of the most brutal matches of the weekend, in my opinion. Oh, and Braxton in a bad way here with Leroy. Leroy smells blood. Oh, oh God. Right into the knee drop. Something you don't see every day, Jeff, and only a one. <coughs> Ooh. A callback to his past in the U.S. Army. Oh, oh, Braxton's firing back. The crowd is coming alive. For anyone who knows, Braxton has done a stint here in Japan. Oh, look at that big boot just hit Braxton rocking him. Braxton, or sorry. Yeah, no, Leroy is very happy with himself. I was right. And oh God, kick to the head. I can't believe Braxton's back to his feet already. Oh God. Forearm to the back of the head as leveled Leroy Diamond and Braxton taking to the top rope. Going for the cover, could this be it? One, two, no. You know, I, I thought maybe he had knocked enough wind out of Leroy Diamond to possibly get the three. But Leroy back to his feet, and what's this? Oh, no. Game over for Braxton. What? Not yet. Oh, Leroy getting maybe a little bit too bloodthirsty as he's going right for the kill. This might be all she wrote. You know, I know there's some fans in tents that probably wanted to see a different move from Leroy Diamond, but one, two, oh my God. I can't believe Braxton just got the shoulder up there. I was 
distraught for a second, but Leroy still staying on Braxton. No frustration, all fight. You can definitely see an attitude change. Attitude, oh God, I can't talk today. Attitude change in Leroy Diamond since joining uh, Joseph Robinson's dojo. I, I know there's a name for it. I'm just not too uh, familiar with it yet. Uh, oh, God. Braxton's, Braxton's out. One, two, three, no. The dojo would be called the Brain Buster Academy, Lee. The Brain Buster Academy, that is right. I can't believe I forgot that. Uh, Brain Buster, like, uh, isn't it in tribute to uh, the brain? Heenan? Oh, look at that! Headbutt from Leroy Diamond! Braxton was starting to get a comeback going, but Leroy laid him right down with a mighty headbutt from that bald head. Oh, and a belly to belly that just sent Braxton to tumbling. And that's the kind of suplex that would make Scott Steiner proud. Oh, he missed that second right hand, which could have absolutely, he looked like all of his power was behind it. And knocking Braxton out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Leroy, Leroy, stay to your comfort zone. Leroy, Leroy! Oh, my God! Not quite comfortable with staying in his comfort zone. He knows he needs to give it his all. I mean, this is the first episode here in the Kabuki Theater, here in the new arena. I mean, that's a brand new mat. That's a brand new apron, brand new ropes. Uh, from what I hear, the railing isn't even used. And we got brand new Braxton blood all over the new mats. Wonderful. As Braxton's rolled into the ring, flipped over and going for the covers. Leroy Diamond, this could be it. One, two, no! Stay on the flight, kid. Leroy is starting to get a little bit upset. And he, wow. Oh, my. Did you see that, Jeff? And again. And he's going to do it again. One, two, three. No. Just barely. Oh, Braxton. Somehow. Got the leg and Leroy. Uh oh. Oh, Braxton. Oh, look at that. Floored him again with the rolling elbow right to the back of the head. And that move from the top rope. Another stomp. One, two, three. Braxton somehow pulled out the victory. I mean, Leroy tried. I think it's a fair, Leroy tried to kill Braxton. He gave it everything he had to walk out of here tonight with the W, but I mean, he just he just didn't have what it takes to kill this. I don't even know what to call Braxton anymore. He just took a beating from Leroy Diamond. And didn't even bother, just kept going. Didn't slow down for a second. That oh. is that fight that Braxton is known for. It's the Braxton of yesteryear. And I think it was about time that that Braxton came back. It is for the full honor. Oh, he said full honor, Jeff. About damn time somebody gets it right. And here he is. One of, one of your favorites, isn't it? King Yamashita! Gang's looking fired up tonight. I mean, King... Oh, oh. JMR. This is... This is new for JMR. Very new for JMR. Uh, 
a tactic. Oh, Kane get in the ring anyway. And this match has started. And Kang's not wasting any time. He's taking it right to JMR. I think it's something uh, new out of JMR here after, oh, a two count almost put away Kang right there. As soon as he won that championship, we see a change of attitude. Ooh, he got that frog splash, but he did not get the second one in. Oh! These two squirrely guys going at it. I mean, these two are about the same size. JMR with a little bit more muscle mass, uh, if that's fair enough to say, Jeff. JMR in the corner. Oh! Oh, God! To the top rope. Oh, knees to the midsection. JMR is actually having a hard time here with Kang Yamashita. He rushed it. He had the element of surprise. He lost it. And now he's paying for it. Oh, look at that. Shout out Jimmy Fly Snuka. Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Jimmy Fly? <laughs> anyway, Kang Yamashita stomping at the face of JMR and again. And again. Oh, and nice elbow drop to the chest. He thinks that's enough to put away the Maverick, though. And a one. And a kick out. Gonna have to do a little bit more than that. Oh, and a super kick from Kang Yamashita going for the cover. One, two, we're about to have it. Oh, no two. Sorry, I rushed it. I, was, I got too excited there, Jeb. I thought Kang Yamashita just put away JMR for the full honor title. Look at that. He almost had it, but almost is not good enough in this business. Impressive showing from Kang, though, with another splash from the top rope. And now Kang is locked in on the Maverick. And JMR's in a bad spot as Kang now fires him off right there. That was a hell of a lariat going for the pin. One, two, no! Still got to put more work in. He cannot believe that he has not got at least a two count. I mean, you've seen him shaking his head. Oh, and the Maverick comes back. Lightning fast. Uh-oh. Bad spot for Kang Yamashita with the backstabber from JMR. No. Uh-oh. Are we going to see it, Jeff? Are we gonna see it? Here it comes, the Maverick elbow! And JMR retains. Work hard, but live in my pace. You're only young once, yeah, that's all great. But I also wanna teach you where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. That Wait, super no, kick from Kang no Yamashita, Wait, no, and I thought he had it, and then I thought he had it there, but then right here, JMR well, I just wanna be turned happy. it around with the backstabber. Yeah, you ask me? I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's done. There's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut. Let me show you what you want. I gotta say, Jeff, I am liking this new attitude, and there it is. That new attitude, just like I was just talking about, way to show it, JMR. Uh, from JMR, Jeff, I, I think this will get this kid a lot further in this business. You're just like.
Very happy with his championship. Got to be happy with himself too. Ultimatum. I gotta say, that's a cool name. It's a shame I forgot that was on the roster. Ultimatum, you can make all the ultimatums you want. Final threats, demands, all you want to civil disobedience and they're not going to phase us. They're just words. And last time I checked, actions speak louder than words and we let our actions speak for ourselves. You can take these ultimatums and you can impose them to EOP. Maybe they will feel threatened. No scratch that. They wouldn't be feel threatened by that. You can take these ultimatums and impose them to the alphas and have them crumbling at your feet. But don't think for one second that your idle threats and words is going to pose a problem to civil disobedience. See you in the ring. Well, you heard from Trump man, and here they come. I mean, I, it's by fair to say these aren't your favorite in the industry right now. But here they come. Tyler Ferguson and Trump fan, civil disobedience. I mean, what can I say about civil disobedience? They are former tag team champions, uh, multiple time tag team champions. Former Tyler is a former world champion, former U.S. champion. And then you got Trump fan who's held pretty much every title except the new full honor title, the world title, and the grand champion. Who are they facing? Oh yes, I forgot. Ultimatum. Camera guy. Uh, up a little bit though. Grim Holland and Tyler Torres. And this makes up Ultimatum. Jeff, I don't know what you're expecting here, but I know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting a good match because we've seen Grim Hellman in action. We've seen Tyler Torres and we've seen Ultimatum in action against the Crows and then men put on a great fight. But will it be the same here tonight? Bell has rung and here oh. we go. What the? You know. Why does everybody hate my fucking ref? I think it was a shot at Triple C. Seen Triple C attack the ref, and so he wanted to show that he could throw him for that. At least that's what I'm taking from this. But I mean, I hope both both these guys know that's a five thousand dollar fine. Uh, at least. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what Jeff. Beck's gonna do about that because I, I can kind of hear him his, his ears are letting out steam uh, but Tyler Torres in the corner is Tyler Ferguson Tyler's are fighting right now and this is not good oh oh god it's a lot of Tyler's on that Jeff, you're gonna, you're gonna have to talk to management and have him drop his first name and just have him be Torres. Oh, and Grim Holland. Oh, God. Grim Holland is a big boy. I, and I mean big boy. I, I don't really know much. Oh, God. Uh, this dude's backstory, I, I I just do commentary here, folks. I, I don't know if you realize that. Yeah, I, I had a role backstage back in the day. But, uh, 
I, I messed that up. Anyway, Grim Holland and Tyler Torres, or sorry, Tyler Ferguson going at it here. And Holland is on the floor, just went over the top rope. Not where you want to be. From what I hear, Rim Holland has a rough history and not so much related to anything besides, like I don't even think the dude graduated high school from what I read. I mean, he's no, going to be not a straight to work. Could definitely be wrong, but as Jeff just confirmed, uh, Jeff would know more than anyone. A oh, Grim Holland just tossed Tyler and now back in the ring. Remember, guys, we have up to a 20 count here in FMW Purgatory. So these men could have been outside for another uh, 13 seconds. And oh. Right now, the big boy is in charge, but Tyler is not out yet. The outlaw, the fallen angel, is being stomped right now by Grim Holland. Oh! Torres in. Goodbye, Crunkman. At least for the time being. Tyler Torres and Grim Holland Ultimatum definitely have a good chemistry going on uh, that I feel, Jeff. But Ferguson and Crunkman have just been together that much longer, and I think we just seen that kind of come together here. Ooh. Carrying him in snake eyes. Cover. Not enough for the pin. Oh, God. Frunkman pulling out some tricks here against Ultimatum. Oh. Uh oh. And right here, turn the page. Cover. Referee called rope break. And Crunk, I mean, Tyler looks lifeless. Do you see any life in Tyler Torres, Jeff? Not at the moment, that could change, but it doesn't look like it's going to as Crunkman tags in his partner. Oh, Tyler's going straight for the pin. One, two, three, civil disobedience. I mean, I think Tyler was out. Man, everyone, this has been noted a lot recently that Crunkman gets into these states. He just gets so mad. Nothing really stops him. He just he just goes until he hears that bell. I mean, as you see there, you see Tyler kind of. I, I, it looks like he knew his hand was hurt, but he really didn't know what part of his body to hold. And Ferguson came straight in for the pin. Unbelievable.
on Tuesday for me and Robertson. We had our match. It ended in a draw, non contest, whatever you want to call it. But you know, myself and the IP, you know for a fact, you can't keep the match in that ring. And it's really funny how all of a sudden everyone wants to drop on, in on this bandwagon that I started. And I said that I'll be the one to make the empire of pain crumble and fall. And it all started in Las Vegas at the grudge city where myself, Punk Man and Tyler beat EOP in that six man elimination match. And I'm sure Tyler and Punk Man will have their say on what they have planned in the future. My future is a grand championship. And Chris... I, I wonder what else Murphy had to say there, but it cut him off. Uh, here he comes. The man that claims he is the next grand champion, and he's, he's one of them guys... That if he was in baseball and he pointed to a corner and he said he was going to hit a home run, you'd believe him. He called his shot. So the question is, did Joseph Robinson call his shot? Is he going to be the next grand champion? Well, right now, we don't know. Because there was a one-on-one -on -one to determine number one contender that did not go to the right ending, I will say. And so we, we don't have a definite. But right now, it's a triple threat. Joseph Robinson, Murphy, and the grand champion going one on one on one. And we are going to see who pins who, who wins who. And maybe, just maybe, they will claim a number one contender tonight, Jeff. Jim Cornette guy, as it says on the t-shirt, Joseph Robinson. Jeff, you there? I'm here just figuring out the official system. So Joseph Robinson is out, and now out comes Murphy. And Murphy made himself very clear in the promo before the match. Yes, he did, Jeff. Very clear. And I think one of the things that has me the most concerned about this match is Joseph Robinson has a great finisher. Rich has a great finisher. But Murphy has the blackout, which is one of the most deadly finishers in FMW. So the question is, if he pulls out the blackout, who is walking away from that? Robinson has proved before that he can kick out of the blackout at least once. But so Rich is proven. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. Where I was going with that. God, you read my mind sometimes, and I love it. I love it. And out comes the champion. One of the most prestigious titles in E-Fed, quoted by Joseph Robinson. Or at least that's what he plans to make it. With the FMW World title being one of the most uh, lineage? No. 
His historic. That'll be the one. Historic titles in FW EFED history so far. And here he comes, the FMW Grand Champion, Christopher Rich, doning the crown because he became the king at Rise of a King. That should have seen him and Murphy at some point fight. Is, isn't that the, the story? I believe it is. But Murphy, uh, yeah, Murphy got injured. Xander Cool took his place. And Rich won. I mean, there is no love loss between any three of these competitors in the ring right now. Well, not in the ring, but around the ring. About to fight. Come on, roll. I swear to God, Brad slams one more door while we're trying to do I'm going to get up. How does this death? That it? Robinson! Uh, Alright, ref is doing well. Yeah! Look at Robinson! <laughs> Let them fight, I'll whoop the other guy's ass once he's done. Oh! Robinson. That was what I was told was the uh, mental going into this, and it looks like he's following right up on that. Oh, look at Rich, though. The grand champion also seemed to maybe have took the same note on what to do here. Are we going to see a repeat from JMR in the triple threat? Oh no, Rich, back in the ring already. <coughs> oh, and he takes Joseph out from behind. Take one out, go for the other. Try to take advantage while the other's down. Oh. Murphy is on a roll here. And these two lock up. Everyone has been talking about their last encounter, and I think it's fair to say the fans want to see another one on one of Joseph versus Murphy. Oh! To the top, and look at Robinson, oh God. Spiral tap connected, but Rich is right behind Robinson. This is the first time that Robinson could have possibly, oh look at this. Robinson could have possibly won there, but Rich now laying in to Robinson. Oh look at this, Murphy. Oh, God! Murphy! Qualifications in a triple threat match, Lee. Anything goes. Ooh. Robinson just... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, pedigree! Pedigree, this could be it! This could be it! No, broken up by Rich. Rich now... Oh, off the knee. And now he's taking the cover. Ooh. Murphy kicked out. I mean, I was not expecting Murphy to go for the sledgehammer and beat the dog living stuff out of Rich, but Robinson, if he would have went after Robinson, I, I would have understood. Oh, Robinson, baseball bat in hand. Oh! Oh! Oh, God! Oh, and Robinson was not expecting Rich to come at him after those lariats to Murphy.
It seems like both men are not happy with just everyone. I mean, I mean, I, 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 Oh, there's the F10. And right here, this is it. One, two, kick out. I mean, so close. Oh, and he's raking the arm. Drop, Fujiwara armbar. Murphy is realizing what's going on. He's back to his feet as Robinson is tearing apart the grand champion. And he went for the sludge hammer, but Robinson caught him. And oh, low blow by Murphy, who now, he's going for the blackout, blackout, blackout on the sledgehammer handle. Broken up by Rich. Oh, here it is. Oh, this, this is not good. Robinson, get to your feet. One, two, three. Murphy has pinned the grand champion. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, the F, yeah, there it is right there. The F10 from Joseph Robinson. The sledgehammer hits. And then the blackout. He took out Robinson first, but he went for Rich after Rich broke the cover. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I'm Lee Dark. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.